obviously we didn't start out well. Um, they hit a long pass on our first possession, and you know we we're kind of back and forth there. Um, the, obviously the offense continued to move the ball. There's a couple times we didn't quite punch it in when we needed to, but overall I thought offense played a heck of a lot better than defense. We had a heck of a time with the pass today. They showed up because. Again, we had uh, opportunities to get off the field on defense, and we didn't. But offense just kept plugging away and plugging away and, and making scores and not really letting St. Ambrose um, catch up. So obviously the, the one mistake we had was the, the fumble late in the game where we were ready to ice it. But, um, you know, th those guys continued to show up, and then obviously they were able to run the clock out once we got him the ball back. And Willie's been here now for a while, and we know what we're going to get out of Willie. And, um, he did. He showed up. Now he's a little tired in the first half, so he kept coming in and out, and we kind of had to challenge him there in the second half. It's like, hey, Willie, we're going to need you here, man, so um, we'll try to get you blows when we can, but um, we need you to come out and play, and he did that. He, he, he did an excellent job. I mean, we got him returning punts and kickoffs and doing all that stuff, so, um, but yeah, he did really well. It's easier to correct a lot of mistakes when you get a win, I guess. That's probably the best way to put it, so um, our, we get an opportunity, I told the guys in the locker room, we get an opportunity now to, you know, lean on them a little bit after a win. Um, so there's obviously a ton of mistakes that we made, um, specifically on the defense side, um, but we, we, we have to be able to show up and, and fix those things and, and move forward. It's a lot easier to, you know, press the kids a little bit when, after a win. I think we went out and executed our plan. Uh, we had a lot of mistakes, but we were able to capitalize more on their mistakes. So I feel like that's the reason why we we're successful and we we're able to have uh, a good game plan put together. Like I said, we went out there and executed. Uh, we had a game plan. We trusted the game plan. Uh, we trusted the coaches and what they had and what vision they had for us. And we kind of went out there and, you know, did our thing. We, we, we got what we expected, you know what I mean? So I feel like that's where most of our success came from, the whole team, honestly. The first touchdown uh, came across the middle, uh, wide open. I seen my player, my uh, receivers made a block, and I was in the end zone, honestly. And then the second one uh, came around the edge again, got a little handoff, uh, looked to the outside. It was kind of dead, so kind of planted my foot and went upfield. And thanks to the old line, I'm in the end zone. Third one, what was the third one? That was a pretty long one. Uh, it was around the edge again. Uh, once I hit that edge, I already knew I was gone. So I had a good block from my from my receivers and my line, and I was able to hit that edge and get an end zone. Backfield for St. Ambrose, Caden King. Joey Sprinkle, the freshman, 215-pounder right-hander, takes it. Here comes a pressure. Should be a hold, and the pass is going to be picked off. Picked off by the Upper Iowa Peacocks. For Upper Iowa, they're on 27-yard line. Willie Camacho goes in motion, sets up shop. And they'll give it to Camacho near side, 25, 30. Turns the corner, 35, 40, 45, 50 down the sideline, 45, 40. Nobody's going to catch Willie Camacho, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Upper Iowa. Touchdown, Willie Camacho.